In this video, we're going to look at how you can build a budget, a family budget for yourself to help you balance income and expenses. But before we do that, let's take a look at the goals of uh, budgeting and family budgeting specifically. Uh, and there are five goals that I identify and I'd like you to look at. And number one is to balance incomes with spending. Right. Uh, that's probably why you're looking at this video is uh, so you would like to make sure that at the end of the day you have a balanced uh, financial picture and you are not exceeding your income. Uh, second goal is uh, to help you be prepared to respond for uncertainties in life. For example, there might be some uh, unpredictable event that you are not suspecting, but it might be happening and you want to have some financial cushion and having balanced budget would help you get prepared for this. Right. Uh, we also will look at differentiating between spending and investment. And that's an important concept because it helps you long term with all of your investments in the future, helps you either increase your income through education. It's one of the investment or maybe getting better skills, help you gain more money in the future. All of these things are going to be helpful. And the uh, number four goal is helping accumulate more wealth over time. So ultimately uh, getting you ready. Um, for retirement because nobody will sponsor you uh, for the retirement uh, and or meeting some uh, financial goals maybe having your kids go to college buying a home buying a car um, and uh, important thing to remember is that uh, budgeting is a lifelong process and not just the one night exercise so let's switch the back and look at the monthly budget and we're looking at the month of January that's column C and in the income we'll just put a $5,000 uh, and that's uh, a salary of uh, $60,000 per year um, and we'll just make it a little bit uh, bigger and I use the dollar sign uh, so we track it in uh, dollars and the way I calculated annual salary from 5,000 I just multiplied by 12 right so $5,000 salary let's assume a rent uh, in the amount of uh, $1,400 $1,400 uh, car payment uh, would be in amount of uh, $350 per month and again we're looking at the monthly uh, purchases here gas is um, about uh, let's just say $200 per month electrical would be $175 uh, well, I have gas twice so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete the uh, row 11 and I just select right mouse click and click delete food is another big part of the budget and assume that you have kids so you are looking probably at uh, $1,200 uh, and then for entertainment uh, let's put in um, $400 all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select all these columns and put dollar sign so now let's take a look at the total right uh, so we have a salary there's some money coming in of five thousand dollars let's do a sum and there's a sum button here and it highlights the area so we're going to do a total and we actually um spending uh three thousand seven hundred twenty five dollars right so this is very good uh because we will be saving uh one thousand uh two two hundred seventy five dollars if my math is correct right but this is again this is the budget and that's uh, really how you can calculate and this is the projected picture right and uh, this is what you're projecting um, and uh, planning to do now what's important for budget we can add uh, actuals and it's another goals of budgeting we'll just call it January actuals uh, and think of this column C as the plan of what you have determined and actual is actually how much you spend it or receive so that's that's the actual cash flow so for example maybe you work hourly and your salary wasn't five thousand but was in fact uh four thousand six hundred right and uh, maybe rent was the same as you planned because that's a pretty uh, projectable expense you sign typically annual lease uh, but car payment uh, also planned uh, amount but maybe for gas you spent 250 Right, that was based on the receipts that you took uh, and for electrical another predictable expense uh, but maybe not during the uh, winter especially if you have to pay uh, if you have electric heater so let's assume that you spent uh, $200 
uh, for electrical and for food. Uh, you had a couple parties and uh, ended up with 1500 and in entertainment you spent $700. So let's take a look where this math will take us. And we will just put dollar signs. We'll do sum again. And in fact, uh, we only uh, in surplus of $200. Right. But you see how the exercise is helping us? First of all, it helps in the way that uh, we did the plan, right? And we we'll, can compare ourselves against the plan of what happened. Secondly, it helped us because it allows us to project the actuals, right? Now, instead of just planning, oh, I don't know how much I'm spending on uh, electrical or on food and entertainment, you know because you were tracking this for months and you can project more accurately next month's budget so you'll do the same thing for february uh, same thing for march and etc right and that really helps you out with long-term planning to reach your financial goals and to reach your budgeting goals so let's recap we've looked at how you can do months to months comparisons uh, in your budgeting for that you need to do a plan for a month and then you need to do actuals and this is this uh, document here that I'm going to share with you on my site so please make sure to download and use it as a base uh, second goal is you want to make sure you respond by to uncertainties in life and how do you do it you accumulate more of this uh, gap between your income and expenses so in months of January we're able to accumulate $200 this is the difference between 4600 which I'm going to format in, as dollars uh, and 4400 this is the total of the actual expenses right um, third goal uh, we will be differentiating between spending and investment and that's um, more of the future videos so uh, watch out for those and make sure to check out my other videos they will be in the descriptions um, how to accumulate wealth over time the more money uh, is the difference between your income and expenses the more you'll be able to accumulate and invest and if you're doing smart investments smart investment decisions the more you will uh, accumulate over time and again uh, as I mentioned this is the lifelong process versus one overnight exercise you can sit down and look but as much as you can do you probably will be end up just doing planning the key of budgeting is doing it regularly and comparing plant data with the actuals Thanks for watching and please stay in touch. Please make sure to check out the descriptions in this video and download resources referenced in the description. You can also learn more on the subject, so please make sure to check out the links. Sign up to my email list and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching.